Terrence said, well, why don't you tie down the branches? I think uh, our experience with uh, tying down on pears is that uh, if you, uh, I think pears are more sensitive, at least my experience is that pear limbs are more uh, sensitive to w when you're tying them down. If you tie them down too close to the horizontal, they, they will slow down, they will stop growing. Ergo, then maybe plant the trees closer together. Right. Hey, 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 Terry, that's my line, Terry. It's okay. So, uh, but uh, I, I knew where you were going with that. the soil that Kevin has here is very potent, and and knowing Kevin, it won't take him long to fill this space in here. I know you said about what eight, nine years. You'll fill this in sooner than that. Oh yeah, on, on this. Part. Well, the Bosque and the Bartlett, you know, but. Uh, we can't make it all the way to the 10 year stuff. Kevin, did you use any soil amendments here? Did you plant these with, with a tree planter or did you use an auger? Tree planters, yeah. Use the tree planter. Yeah. Use no soil amendments. No. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, no. There's a nice open field there. How about let's take the next step? We're going. <laughs> <laughs> so what would 60, what would 60 bends to the acre in the fourth leaf mean to you? And uh, 20 bends in the third leaf on Bosque. So we've done it. What's, the, what's big That's four by twelve. Four by twelve. On eighty-seven. That's pretty courageous. But we're tying a lot of limbs down. Okay. And now it's ten years old in New York, and we're still managing it. Um, but you got Terrence. Okay, so they're ten years old now. You know, pears. Pears last a long time, longer than uh, longer than apples. Do you think you'll be able to maintain? Uh, the growth within that spacing in 20 years time. Maybe, maybe not, but if I can, I'll rip it out and start over. If you could get a apple, pears to act like apples, where we get some yield in the second, third, and fourth, and fifth non years, uh, you can think about replacing them. So let's just talk briefly, you know, that kind of orchard there, it still produces, but you can't mechanize that with platforms. Now, where's Steve? Come stand by me, Steve. Here, can I, so if we don't get... Your little machine yesterday with apples, this Japanese rice machine, well, I could envision that going down a pear row, but you can't do it over there. So pear growers have used this argument with me now for 20 years, and I've been trying to figure out how to rebut them. <laughs> but the same old variety, I still got Anjo. Why you cut that tree down? Well, it's labor efficiency is my answer nowadays. Cheaper to prune, cheaper to pick, everything if we go to a more high-density orchard. But pear growers are all afraid. And uh, putting a tree in the middle will be great from my perspective. It's still a young orchard, but uh, is that close enough? Because like with apples, you used to say you know by three, now you're going by two. <laughs> I have them at two, and it's a challenge, but it's still possible. But I love the four yes. foot pair, yeah. boss pairs on 87 to two feet by 10, 10 years old in New York. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'll be there in 10 years. <laughs> well, I might retire by then. Who knows? No, you won't retire. Can I, uh, one, I'm sorry, one minute. So uh, what we're doing with the green angel uh, on the, the seven and a half planting is uh, now in the 10th year, the last two years we've been slabbing the central tree and allowing the other tree to fill the space because we we're having a real control issue on the trees now. So tying, uh, you don't have much experience with angel back east or? We, we, we grow a little bit of angel, but that's not our variety. It's Byron and Bosque. And it's really just a change in philosophy. Now, the rootstock's not perfect. I wonder whether you guys have tested here this Pyro 2-33 that yeah. Dave Will sells. I like it even a little better than 87 because it's a little more dwarfing. Yeah, there's a problem with it, though, but uh, <clears throat> I've tried it. Yeah. But in any case, it's a management of branches, cutting out big branches. Uh, everybody remembers the saying I've been teaching for years, big branches make big trees. So you leave big branches in a pear tree for 20 years, it makes a big pear tree. And so you, if you ask me to go into a 10-year-old block and say, see, it doesn't fit your four-foot spacing, I would argue back and say, because it's allowed to grow to that spacing for 10 years. When it's a four-foot spacing and you manage it in a four-foot spacing, you're cutting out big branches every year. It keeps the tree smaller, and pretty soon you can live with it. 